Hey YouTubers, today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on my video Call of Duty Multiplayer in Real Life. I've got a few requests for it, so here we go. Alright, so this video, the main thing I want to know, people want to know, how do you get these pre-keyed effects, and how do you get the free-for-all things, and the D-pad, and the mini-map, and all that kind of stuff. So basically, you're going to be an iMovie, and what you're going to be doing there, here's the raw footage you have. You can see here, one. Nothing fancy other than me holding a camera in one hand and an airsoft gun in the other hand to uh, basically get a first person kind of view. Um, so what I would do first is I would probably add the little Spetsnaz logo in the corner. So for that I would find one on Google Images, import it into iPhoto, and all you're going to do for this is you're going to drag and drop it on top of your thing, your video, and you're going to do picture in picture. And now, because it has a black background, you need to find one that has a black background. It'll automatically pre-key it if you have advanced settings turned on. Uh, to do that, it's going to be under preferences, and you'll find it pretty easily. So you're going to make it the size you want. You now, you're going to notice it's not going to be the full logo. Um, in iMovie, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. You're just going to have to kind of grin and bear it, as they might say. All right, so that's that. And you're going to have that in there make it the full length of your video and you'll see that now your video One. has this picture picture overlay of the Spetsnaz thing in the bottom left corner like it would in Call of Duty. Now before you can add anything more you're going to need to share it, export it, however you want. I'm just going to export it to my desktop and just for the sake of this I'm going to just make it a smaller file so it doesn't take as long. I'm going to title it one because when I did this I had probably 50 or 60 or so of these files so I figured numbering them was the easiest way to keep track of them. So as it's doing that I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what's going to happen next. What's going to happen next is we're going to add the uh, free-for-all thing in the bottom, the mini-map and the ammo counter. So for that if we have the video here we're just going to import said video back into here, so we're going to go in the file and import to movies, desktop, and one. It'll import this. And now we have the new imported video with the Spetsnaz logo. Not the best quality, but that's because the sake of the video it takes a long time to do the HD one. So I'm just going to delete what's up here. Click OK there, and I'm just going to put this into the project for the working on right now. So now we have this video with the Spetsnaz logo. So what you're going to do from here, to add the mini-map, um, you can use any picture of a mini-map or anything you want. Um, I'm not exactly certain where I put it for now. So I mean, it's the same concept as the last one. All you're going to be doing for that is something along the lines of take any photo, and you're just going to drag and drop it in the same way you did for the Spetsnaz logo and position it in the top left corner instead of top bo uh, left, left bottom corner. So from here, what you're going to do for adding the free-for-all thing, it's simply titles. For the titles, all you're going to be doing is you're going to be, say, you can pick any title you want. I think up upper left, because you're going to be doing it in the left, it's going to work the best for this. So you're going to drag and drop the title on top of it. And we want the title here to be free for all. And then below that, you're going to want the two scores. Just doesn't really matter for now. I'm just kind of putting in a random score. You can edit this, make it fit the best you want. Uh, you want to go to show fonts. You're going to want to make it a smaller size so it kind of matches um, the thing better. You can go into the system font panel. It's a little easier for finding the right fonts and stuff you might want for your video. So you're going to make it a small size, done, and then you're going to just basically, you press enter until it goes all the way down to where you want it, and then shift each one over to the approximate right spot. I mean, I know this isn't the exact spot I had in the video, but I mean, you can play around with it a bit. It takes a while to get it in the right spot. Done, and now you have your Spences logo and free for all. Expand that over the whole video, and once again, we're going to save it, and I'm just going to be right back so I can do that. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, what we're going to be doing now is just getting rid of this once again and you're going to import the one with the title now. Um, as for ammo, uh, you're going to want the lower corner because that's where the ammo is. 
And what that's, oops, sorry, give me a second here. What that's basically going to do is show the ammo numbers. Now to change it though, all you do, so say here's where I shoot, let me find the exact spot where I shoot my first shot in the video. It's going to be right here. So one title is going to be like this, I'm going to make this, uh, I can't remember the exact ammo right now, I think it's like 8 out of 32 or something like that. So move that over and move it down, no, move it down then over, same thing. Um, get as far as over you can go, once again make it smaller, readjust it. And once you got it adjusted, I mean, that is your, there's your ammo. So once you take your first shot, I mean, obviously it's going to fade out like a normal title. So what you're first going to have to do is fade out manual and none. So that way it just disappears the moment the title ends. So you're going to think, but well, wait, how's the ammo go down? So if you do that, you're going to create another title, line it up right at the end of this one. And it's just going to be for one shot, so it's going to be 7 out of 32 now. And once again, change the font. Make it smaller, and you're just going to want to bring this down to the same spot you had the other one in. And also you're going to want to change the fade out to zero as well. And now you'll see that when it does that. Now it moves over a little bit because I didn't have the spacing yep. exact, but you just gotta make sure you have that spacing exact. See, this takes a while, you can see. So you're gonna have this plan, as soon as I shoot one, it goes down to seven, but I also shot a second one, so I'm gonna add one for going down to six as well. So for that, just doing the same thing again. You can see I had a bit of a problem. I used the wrong title. Give me a second. All right, so you're gonna have six out of thirty-two. Bring it down. Font. And now you're going to have, oh, sorry, fade, so many things to remember. And you're playing, One. and then it goes down to six, two shots. All right? One. Um, once again, you want to extend your final title out to the end of the clip there, so that you're going to have, so now we have the ammo, the free-for-all, and by the way, for the free-for-all, it's the same kind of thing I just did to the ammo. You're going to want to make that change as you go along, as each kill goes, you want to change the free-for-all to become, say, 0 to 50 to 100 to 150. I know in the video a mistake I made is I had plus 100, but that's because I originally had the video being Team Deathmatch, and I was wait, there's only three people. So I kind of had to change that up a bit. All right, so then I, as I said, uh, mini-map in the top left corner is the exact same thing as the Spats NAS. And then for this, you're just going to save it again. I would save it as three, since it's the third one, and I'll be right back after that finishes. Okay, guys, I'm back. Finished saving it and port it again. Um, so here's your video. A couple things you're missing. All right, first of all, we're missing the muzzle flash. This has to be one of the hardest things to put in when it comes to iMovie. For the first part, you're gonna have to either make your own muzzle flash or find one online. As for how you find one or buy one, you can buy them too. Um, up to you. I can't really disclose where to find them. But um, anyway, so we're just gonna pick one for the video here. This one maybe... With iMovie, there's not a lot of rotation or anything you can do with them, so it's hard to pick one. Like, in fact, I don't think in the video I even bother with one in here. I'll, I'll put one in, but it's going to look pretty bad since you can't really change the angle much. But you'll get the general idea. Alright, so we're just going to pick this one for the sake of the video. You're going to just drag it, and same thing you did with the Spetsnaz thing once again, you're going to do a picture and picture it. And the same kind of thing with the Spetsnaz black background, because it uses muzzle flashes at back, black backgrounds they'll also be pre-keyed like this. Now, probably the hardest part of 
anything with iMovie when it comes to muzzle flashes <laughs> is it doesn't have support for in editing video for this. So you honestly have to kind of guess. You, I can see right here is where the muzzle flash is going to be. However, if you watch it play through, it doesn't have the muzzle flash video. Down here you can see it's actual... Uh, give me a second. It, it doesn't uh, play the muzzle flash yet to do that. So... Redoing this. <coughs> Hey guys, I'm back. Alright, imported the next video. And the next part you would do would be to add the muzzle flashes. Probably one of the most annoying things to do in iMovie that you could possibly think of. Um, basically for the reason that iMovie doesn't support these things very well at all. You can notice they all look like still pictures. However, they actually are video. You can kind of see if I scroll through it slowly, you can see it. But if I just play through it, iMovie isn't fast enough to see anything. If you guys scroll through, you can see it's actually a flash. Anyway, so I'm just going to pick one for the sake of the video. I actually didn't add one in for this specific clip in the video when I made it because of the angle the pistol's on. It's hard to see anything. And with my limited effects I could find online, it just didn't work so well. So anyways, the general idea of it, though, is you're going to find the exact point in your video in which you shoot. You're going to do picture in picture, same as you did for the Spetsnaz, and you'll notice the black background is gone. And all you're basically going to do is line this up with the end of the gun the best you can. And you, all you, what you have to do is scroll through it, and you'll see it appear just for a second. And what you're going to need to do this is do this for every single shot in the thing. You need to save it between shots. It's the longest, most annoying process you can think of. However, it's free, and it's the only way you can do it with iMovie. Without buying $200 uh, effects software that is kind of ridiculously overpriced. So that is basically how you're going to get the muzzle flash in there. I'm just going to save it real quick and be right back. Alright guys, before we continue, uh, one major thing I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video was always analyze for stabilization because most likely you're not perfect filmer and you probably have a shaky video. Like this is quite shaky compared to the final project they put out. Not that it was completely steady, but stabilization helps to an extent. And also another big thing is when you're filming your video, when you shoot someone, they're probably not going to be watching what you're doing. You don't want them looking at the camera. So what you want to do is, before you do a scene, is assign numbers to an action. For example, when you say, one, the person's going to fall, two, another person falls, and you just kind of assign numbers. So I would say one is when I'm shooting, and they also fall at the same time. And then when I said two later on in the video, that's when my friend shoots and I fall. Things like that, so that way you're all synchronized. I mean, because you're not going to have the audio in the end anyways. You're going to be replacing it with um, fake audio, you could call it. You can hear it in the video right here. One. Short, just a little example right there. So anyways, the only thing missing from this video at this point is basically the first blood thing that everyone's been asking me about. For that, all I honestly did was a title. I did... Um, the upper title, and I put it right over the area in which I got the kill, and I titled it First Blood. I put it centered, and that was about it. Just gotta make sure it's right where that happens, right there. And I didn't want it too long, didn't want it too short. So you're gonna have it, let's make it one second for now. And then that's basically all I did. And then I added some pre-key effects for fire onto it. Uh, once again, finding these is not easy to do, or you can buy them, which is probably the easiest way. However, they're not cheap. So I just took one that I like the look of the best. For this video, I do believe I used this one. Uh, I just overlay it, as we have done before, with picture in picture. And I'm just going to want to scroll this way move it back until I get to the area of the thing. I want the big flame in the back of the, of the clip here. <laughs> so I'm going to want to keep scrolling it out until I get to the big flame. Scrolling it back in. 
Rolling back out again. All right, now we got some big flame going on here. So we're gonna take this, minimize it to about the same length, and we're gonna move it on top of here. And you can see here, we're gonna have some flames. We're gonna wanna move the flames over the first blood. Line it up, and basically you can see it. I can only scroll through it because it's pretty key, and you're gonna have first blood with some flames. That is basically all I did. I took a little more time tending to the detail of it in the actual video, but that is basically the along the lines of how I got the first blood thing. And that is basically the entire video. For anything else, uh, please comment or feel free to send me a message. Thank you.